Hello beautiful souls and welcome back and if you're new welcome you have chosen a great video to introduce yourself to this channel with. I am really happy because I have such an exciting video for you guys today. I've been planning this for so long, literally ages I've been wanting to do this. Finally I've been able to get around to it because restrictions have been lifted. So we have a really, oh I've got eyelash in my contact lens. So today as you can see from the title of this video I have a really fun vlog from my recent three day trip to Glastonbury where I went to the Abbey, the tour and the Chalice Gardens and just generally shopped till I dropped and just had the best time really. I'm so excited to share this with you. So let's get started. <music> So we are day one. I'm about to leave and get my first mode of transport <laughs> to get to Glastonbury. It's gonna take me a few hours to get there. And then when I get there, I'm gonna obviously, what's it called? <laughs> Sign into my room. <laughs> Um, well actually I think I'm staying in like, I don't know if it's a converted garage or an extension, I'm not really sure, but it's super cute so I'll give you a room tour when I get there. I've got everything packed which kind of took a while because it's really weird weather, it's September so it's kind of like, it's not hot but it's not cold, it's not raining but it's not sunny so <laughs> I just got my sweatshirt on for now and then I can always get changed if you know it gets nicer there right I've just got like two changes with me so I'm really excited I'm gonna go and get my staff and go and get the first bus to the next one to the next one so I will see you guys when I get there welcome to the Avalon retreat okay guys this is cute path down here and then you just turn in welcome and this is where I am staying. Okay, let's shut the door so you guys can see me. Okay, so you can see I've got my lovely little window over here which is super cute. It actually has this really gorgeous stained glass tour piece on it which is so nice. And then there's a cupboard just down here which I don't think you can see in this light but it's got the hair dryer and some board games and things in. And then just over here obviously is the bed with a lovely beautiful sunny mirror and there's some really cute butterflies up on the wall here which is so cute. I love the detail that they have there. And they even have a little fairy door by the front door as well which is made by the owner which is so cute. Then you have your cupboard here which has all of the details and everything you need to know whilst you're staying here. Then you have the bathroom which is lovely and big and really clean. Look how clean this is really nice nice shower and a lovely mirror oh hi <laughs> it's me <laughs> and yeah this is a really nice more crystals and more butterflies really cute and then coming through you go round the corner and you have your kind of kitchen area which as you can see you have your toaster kettle microwave nice big fridge and then then there's the sink and underneath is all of your cereal your teas or the crockery that you would need which is really nice. And then you have this adorable little shutter window here. How cute is that? Nice big TV if you want to relax in the evening. And a little fire that you can use. And then just a space to hang up your coat. And then you've got your chairs and table for if you want to have dinner in the evening here. And you've got some nice pictures of the local area around. And then again to the bed. So as you can see, it's literally everything you need for a nice short stay. Although to be fair, I actually think this would be fine for a long stay as well. It's really uh, a really cute place, actually. And I would also say that the owners just seem so friendly, so lovely. They can't do enough to make sure that you're happy and you have everything you need. So yeah, really excited. But let me show you the little private garden that you get as well with this room. So welcome to the private garden, which is so cute. Once again, made by the owners. And the water that you can see down here is fed from the white spring and the chalice water, which is really cute. Nice, beautiful, handmade items around here come through. There's a cute little path for you. And you've got your own little bench where you can meditate. Lovely little pentacle, some gorgeous flowers. How nice they are. And yeah, you've got this gorgeous view of this lovely area and the tranquility of the water and another fairy gate. I love fairy gates. I really like this. This is adorable. I can definitely see myself sitting out here 
in the mornings hopefully and just being here when the sun rises and relaxing. So my intentions are to now go into the village and find something to eat and I was really hoping to go up to the tour and do a really nice time lapse of the sunset for you. However, it's very grey. <laughs> So I don't think there's going to be any sunset, but I still am probably going to go up there and just get some fresh air. I just travelled and got really like motion sick on all the different modes of transport that I just had. So I'm just like taking a minute to ground myself and feel myself again before I go off and do loads of exploring. So I'm really excited. This is the first time I've been to Glastonbury since 2017 when I came with my best friend. So really looking forward to having a look around just yeah seeing things that i didn't get to see before and trying new things and maybe buying some crystals i don't know i might have to <laughs> so i'm just going to freshen up and then i'm going to head out so i'll take you guys with me so luckily the airbnb was really close to the main road so i just had to walk up this street here which had a couple of cute and interesting shops but i unfortunately didn't get a chance to look in them but this one looked really good and there's one opposite called magpie or something he, and not this one wait the next one this one was cute <laughs> this one here which actually was only open after i left then you've got the main street that you can see all along here and you can see Alestial is that massive crystal shop i went to and two doors down is the entrance to the abbey which you can see there look at this shop it's so cool literally <laughs> you just want everything that's inside it's quite pricey but it's really good quality stuff and then you walk along here and this is where the bulk of the shops are so you have crystal shops you have cafes you have all kinds of funky little places like clothing shops and all kinds of cool things this is really cute i really like how they put these crystals and this green man and everything into the actual stone into the plaster here which is a really nice effect and you've got a lovely cafe there and then you come back through here back onto the main street you've got your bookshop second hand and new and just loads of really cute shops like this is an art shop and fragrant earth i got a bath bomb from there and yeah just really nice stuff and then up along here you've got some more really pretty stuff if you like fairies this is the crystal shop actually where i got a ring for my mum and a ring for myself and then another fairy shop which was really nice i liked it in there and then a beautiful goddess shop more bookshops which are really nice and you just basically keep going up this road and then when you get to the end, you come up to this gorgeous pink shop here and you go around the corner and you basically follow this road straight to get to the Chalice Gardens, the Tor and the White Spring. And you just keep walking. I think it's about a 20, 25 minute walk maybe. So you just keep walking along here, <laughs> do, 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 walking all the way along. And then we're at the tour, yay! This is so steep. Honestly, I had to stop several times. It's a lot more steep than it looks. You come through this first gate and you have a field with sheep in and you come all the way up this path and then you have the next gated entrance to get to the official tour. And so you follow these steps, which are those kind of annoying steps where it's like you can't really take more than one and a half steps. I had to keep stopping so I literally couldn't breathe but I, I'm going to use the excuse of trying to show you how beautiful the view was <laughs> but really I just couldn't breathe at this point and it's so so steep but it's so worth it for when you get up and you get to see all of the views and then you can finally see the tour which is great it kind of eggs you on when you can see it and so you just keep going and going and going honestly my ears popped when I was getting up to this bit uh, I think it's like 500 feet up or something like that so yeah beautiful view I just find it so majestic I think it's gorgeous so anyway it's incredibly windy up here and it's kind of like a cleansing air if you like it's so strong so you can just really if you want spend some time meditating or visualizing things and there was a guy actually playing drum and singing around the corner there which was really nice he had a lovely voice and me getting blown to pieces and yeah then you can go inside hello everybody okay so i've just got back from going up to tour as you guys saw which was long but so good it was so nice to just like really take in the fresh air and have a look around and still as windy as i remember <laughs> it's 
so windy up there, which is why I've done it as a time lapse because you guys literally wouldn't hear a thing otherwise. So I've just got myself a kind of healthy takeaway meal from the local health food shop because I'm just so hungry and so tired. I just want to quickly eat and then I'm just going to chill for the evening. So I'll show you guys what I got. The health food store here is absolutely amazing. It's like, if you've ever been to London, it's a bit like Planet Organic. It's so, so nice. So I was literally in my element like, I want to buy everything. <laughs> but then I'm like, okay, I'm here for three days. I can take my time to eat everything I want. So I'm going to eat and then I'm going to have a nice hot shower and I'm going to curl up and just relax for the evening. So this is what I got for tonight's dinner. Chickpea and aubergine cuisine. I was really craving aubergine, so I figured actually might as well do something about that. And for dessert, I got this plant-based raspberry cheesecake, which looks quite scruffy now, but that's just because it's been in my bag. But <laughs> I definitely got the biggest one on the shelf, but I'm really excited to eat that. I haven't really been eating chocolate recently, so really looking forward to this. And then finally, I got this cinnamon bun. I love a good cinnamon bun, so I just figured might as well get this and enjoy it. So I'm going to put all this on and enjoy eating at least half of it, if not all of it, and sit by the fire. So I will see you guys in a little bit. I'm just going to eat some food and relax for a bit. So I have had all my food the cheesecake was absolutely amazing i honestly thought it was just incredible and i have just been relaxing watching some you know rubbish <laughs> wednesday night tv and i'm just gonna have a shower and then i'm gonna have a really nice early night because tomorrow my plans are to go to the abbey which i've never been before then i'm going to go to the chalice gardens which i'm so excited about i love it in there it's beautiful obviously i'll take you guys with me and then I might do a little bit of shopping because did you see how many good shops there are? I honestly feel like they've opened more amazing shops or I just don't remember all those amazing shops from when I came five years ago? Four years ago. So yeah, I'm really, really excited. So I'm literally going to have a shower and curl up and go to sleep. So I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, guys. I hope that you're all well. I have just woken up and... Just potted around for about 20 minutes and I'm going to now have a shower and get ready to go because today we're going to the Abbey and then we are going to the Chalice Well Gardens and I'm hoping I'll have time to go to the White Spring as well because I didn't get a chance last time, I think it was closed. So I'm really excited to have a look around and do some more exploring. So let's get ready. I pulled some cards this morning from my Mists of Avalon Oracle. I felt it was only right to bring that with me since we are in Avalon and look at the first card that came out this morning the Abbey I mean you can't make this stuff up guys <laughs> it's the first place I'm going to and it's the first card that came out so that's pretty exciting hopefully a good omen so I'm all ready to go now I'm all dressed I kind of feel a bit like Guinevere in my funky floaty dress which I'm really excited <laughs> Because I'm obviously going to the Abbey first, so, you know, that's where apparently King Arthur and Guinevere are buried. So I'm really excited to see that as well. Yeah, and then we're going to go and have a look around some of the shops. I want to go to Star Child, I want to go into Crystal Shop, and then later on we'll be going to the Chalice Gardens. So let's go. So then I made my way over to Glastonbury Abbey. It's a really gorgeous entrance. I really liked the gates and this little side gate here was really cute. I thought this was really nice how you could kind of peepo through there. Yes, I did just say peepo. <laughs> I 
and you can just see up ahead that there is the gift shop on the left and then the admissions and the entrance is straight up ahead from that. So you come through and the first thing you have is this little chapel, I think it's called St. Joseph's Chapel, which felt very medieval with the art inside, but the stained glass window was gorgeous. You can't really see it very well in this video, but it was really beautiful colours. Then you go through this gorgeous little archway and come out into the grounds and you can see straight ahead is the Lady Chapel that it's called, a nice avenue of trees. And I came around here and it's just breathtaking how big it is to be honest. And there was another chapel that used to be there and you can go down into the crypt or straight into the Lady Chapel and it tells you all about it. And you come through and you can see down into the crypt because obviously the floor is fallen away and yeah it's just a really beautiful quite peaceful space actually to be honest i was surprised at how peaceful it was um even though it was really busy it didn't feel busy and then you come down into the crypt and there's this lovely tomb at the end i couldn't find any information about that then you go through here to the well saint joseph's well and then all the way up and back out and around the side and I mean, to be honest, I really kind of like that it's ruins. That view to me is just stunning. I just think that it's just so beautiful. And even though it's quite a masculine space, it feels quite soft and calm. That was my favorite corner there. That was so cute. I loved this little entrance. And you come through and have a good old look. And this is actually where King Arthur and Guinevere are buried. Very understated. And then you go around the corner. And I was just around the corner here actually when a lovely lady approached me and we had a nice little chat, which was really nice. I love this area, it's just so nice. And around the corner again, around the corner again, coming through. And you just have lovely views everywhere you go and you kind of see more because it's a ruin. That's what it would have looked like. And I love this, it was so cute. It reminded me of like Romeo and Juliet that you could come up here and they could be down below you. <laughs> it's really cute. Then I went through into the kitchens, which honestly was freezing because the doors were open and it was like a wind tunnel, but I thought the ceiling was gorgeous. And obviously it was a very opulent kitchen for back then. That view was lovely. Then you have the exhibition which was on and you know, it's interesting. I prefer looking at the actual site personally. That to me is where the energy is. Not that there won't be energy on these items, but just I'm more interested in actually being in the midst of it rather than looking at something behind glass or you know with a, a script or a scripted piece of writing next to it. It just doesn't interest me as much. But I thought it'd be interesting to share. I mean the tiles are really cool that they could, you know, show those and some of the coins and the pots and things like that were definitely beautiful and interesting, but I much prefer being able to see things like in in situ if I can. I went to Chalice Well Gardens, which I love this gate, I love this entrance, it's just so inviting and so soft and gentle. And then you come through and go down to the beautiful waterfall, I guess you can call it, of the Vesca Pisca, and then up along here and you travel through the yew trees as the entrance and come through into where you can actually paddle in the Red Spring and they've got this lovely contemplation area where you can meditate. area, lawned areas where you can sit and there's the lion's head, a little seat that's really cute. You come through here and you can light a candle and then you come up here and I love that little archway of the trees. I don't, there were a lot of apples there to be fair, I'm not sure what tree that was. And then you've got your lovely picnic area that you can come up to or you can sit and relax or journal. And then this was my dinner. It was meant to be a risotto but it wasn't great, I have to be honest, but I was so hungry I would have eaten anything at that point. Then I went to St. Margaret's Chapel, which is also like the Mary Magdalene Chapel. You've got the little labyrinth that you can play with. And to be honest, the gardens here are beautiful. They're absolutely stunning. And it's definitely a great place if you want to calm and relax and meditate really. So I have just got back, had a really lovely day today. And I'm just going to relax and chill for tonight. I'm looking forward to just sitting in my PJs. <laughs> and eating the rest of my cheesecake from yesterday so I will just share a little bit of that with you and then tomorrow is my last day I might pop back either to the tour 
for the chalice garden tomorrow just to kind of rush through those a little bit so i'm looking forward to just going and chilling for a bit with them and yeah then it's all, all done <laughs> for bed now i have mostly packed my bag i just have a few cosmetics and things to add in the morning and i definitely can't fit in everything i bought and i didn't even buy that much <laughs> yeah i'm gonna hopefully have a better night's sleep tonight and it's kind of sad that tomorrow is the last day but at the same time it's been really nice to get away this is my first time away since everything with covid happened as i'm sure it is for many people at the moment definitely was a little bit weird at first took me a minute to get used to it's been wonderful and i've really really enjoyed being here so i kind of hope that if you haven't been to glastonbury this has been really nice for you guys to watch and if you have been it's kind of just transported you back there so i'm gonna go to bed and i will see you guys in the morning good morning guys okay so i'm awake and ready for day three in glastonbury i mean i say day three it's more like day two and a half <laughs> i'm just here for the morning today so i'm going to go back to the chalice gardens and just take a bit of time for me yesterday i focused a bit more on the filming and i did meditate a little bit around the actual world but i would like to go back and just have a little bit of quiet time for me. I was really hoping to go to the White Spring today because it was closed yesterday and I've just looked and it turns out it only opens at 1.30. <laughs> I've got to leave well before then. So that's a real shame. That's the second time I've come and I've not made it there, uh, which I don't know what that sign is. <laughs> is it that I'm already too much in my feminine? Maybe. And I need the balance of the Red Spring? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> so that's a bit of a shame, but never mind. And yeah, I'm hoping that I'll be able to go to a couple of places that I didn't get to have a look in shops-wise yesterday. So I'll see what I can do and hopefully film anything that's interesting for you. So I'm just going to get up. I'm going to quickly finish the meditation I started last night. I'm going to pull some cards as well to see what energy is coming through today. And yeah, I slept much better last night, which I'm so grateful for. I feel much more like me this morning which is really nice so i'm gonna go do my morning routine have a shower and get ready to check out and then go and finish my adventure Okay, so I am all packed and I've just done a quick tidy and a bit of a disinfect of the room just to, you know, be safe with COVID and everything. And I'm going to actually leave my bag with the hosts, which is really kind of them. And then I'm going to pop back to the Chalice Gardens and go and get some nice breakfast that I can enjoy there before I get my first, <laughs> first bus slash piece of public transport to get home. This was the shop I was telling you about, really cute. I wish I could have looked in there, but I didn't have time in the end. But I came up here and I actually got some nice things in Star Child and carried on going up because I really wanted to go and get breakfast from Earthen Fair or Earth Fair, I think it's called, and it's a health food shop. And honestly, it's incredible. It's just the best place if you like healthy or delicious food. And then I went to see if the White Spring was open it absolutely was not, which is a shame. And just such a peaceful, relaxing space. Such a shame I couldn't go there, but maybe next time. And then I wanted to get a better shot of the pool there for you and this beautiful area that you can paddle with the waterfall of the Red Spring. And then this is the well itself. And then I sat up here and just relaxed for a bit and had my lunch. Yeah, I had lunch and breakfast here. <laughs> so that is me finished. I have just had another mini tour of the Chalice Gardens and just enjoyed my breakfast here. And I'm now going to head back down to the shop as I think I saw something yesterday that I kind of wasn't sure about, but I might get today. And then I'm going to make my way back into the centre and check out any shops I couldn't get to before getting my first of many. <laughs> buses home so i hope that you've enjoyed them and i just had fun just tuning into this beautiful place with me hi guys i have literally just got home i managed to get an earlier connection so that i could actually get home a bit earlier which is quite nice because it's still quite sunny outside so i can go and enjoy that but i had a really good time i was kind of sad to leave 
but at the same time I did everything I wanted to do. I pretty much went into every single shop that I showed you guys up and down the main street there. <laughs> Even if I just went in to have a look, it was really nice to actually really have the time to explore where I haven't in the past. I still didn't make it to the White Spring, it, it was still closed, so obviously just not meant to experience that just yet for whatever reason. But I hope that you enjoyed watching this video and I hope that it sparked some kind of excitement or wonder about maybe visiting a sacred site near where you live thank you so much for watching this video i hope that you've enjoyed it let me know if you've been to glastonbury or if you want to go to glastonbury in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe and become part of this online spiritual community and i will see you guys in next week's video i am marilise and oh, i don't like saying that it sounds weird <laughs> i have a vlog from my recent three day three day from my recent three day t trip <laughs> can speak i have a vlog from my i have a fun vlog from my we <laughs> not from my we <laughs> hang on i can do this i'm a professional yeah if you want to so if you haven't so if you want to see what glastonbury is like in 2021 keep watching